Endocrine disruptors are chemicals that resemble endocrine hormones. They're not substances that are normally produced in our body, but are fake hormones that cause endocrine disruption when they enter our bodies as external substances created as a result of industrial activities. It may interfere with the body's endocrine system and produce adverse effects of reproductive system, nervous system, fetal development, and immune system in humans. Endocrine disruptors may be found in many everyday products, including plastic bottles, metal food cans, detergents, flame retardants, food, toys, cosmetics, and pesticides. Today, let's talk about endocrine disruptors. Phthalates, a family of industrial chemicals used to soften PVC plastics and as solvents in cosmetics and other consumer products. Think about the everyday processes until we go to bed and finish the day. Juices and coffee you drink, whole foods from marts, in your refrigerator at home, and in convenience stores include vinyl and plastic bottles and containers. Fragrances such as toothbrushes, soaps, shampoos, and nail polish. Toys, cosmetics, vinyl products such as flooring and shower curtains, and scented products such as candles and air fresheners. In-frame materials for eyeglasses. You can be exposed to all those environmental hormones every day. How are we exposed? Phthalates are not tightly bound to the plastic they are added to and can therefore be dissolved by heat or humidity and absorbed into the skin or through food. Phthalates are absorbed directly through food, through the skin, and through the air. Most common exposure to phthalates is eating and drinking foods that have been in contact with containers and products containing phthalates. Environmental hormones may leak when food covered in plastic or food in a flask is placed in the microwave. Phthalate exposures in humans has been linked to changes in sex hormone levels, altered development of genitals, and low sperm count and quality. 2. Bisphenol a chemical produced in large quantities for use primarily in the production of polycarbonate plastics and epoxy resins. Polycarbonate plastics are often used in containers that store food and beverages, such as water bottles. They may also be used in other consumer goods. Bisphenol A can leach into food from the protective internal epoxy resin coatings of canned foods and from consumer products such as polycarbonate tableware, food storage containers, water bottles, and baby bottles. Bisphenol A, absorbed through the skin from cash register receipts, has been linked to reproductive and neurological damage. The degree to which bisphenol leaks from polycarbonate bottles into liquid may depend more on the temperature of the liquid or bottle than the age of the container. Bisphenol A can seep into food or beverages from containers that are made with BPA. Three. Parabens are a class of widely used preservatives in cosmetic and pharmaceutical products and foods. As preservatives, parabens give products a longer shelf life and prevent harmful bacteria and mold from growing in the products. Parabens increase the growth of breast cancer cells and mimic estrogen in the blood. It could increase the risk of breast cancer. 4. Diethylstilbestrol, DES, is a non-steroidal estrogen. Diethylstilbestrol was given to pregnant women to prevent complications during pregnancy. These could include having a miscarriage or giving birth too early. Researchers found that the daughters of the women who used DES were more likely to get a certain kind of cancer of the vagina and cervix. How can we prevent exposure to endocrine disruptors? 1. Avoid heating or cooking food in plastic. Phthalates and BPA that are found in plastic containers or bottles can absorb into foods or beverages at higher concentrations when they're heated. Avoid heating up these types of plastics. 2. Use BPA-free products. 3. Decrease using cans. Reduce your use of canned foods since most cans are lined with BPA-containing resin. 4. Use alternatives. Use glass, porcelain, or stainless steel containers for hot foods and liquids instead of plastic containers. 5. Use a water filter. Phthalates are also found in water, especially bottled water. Phthalates can be removed from drinking water by filtration with a water filter or filtering system. Take foods out of plastic containers they come in from the store when you get home. 
repackage them in phthalate-free containers, or cook them immediately. An easy way to avoid phthalates when it comes to scented items is to choose natural or fragrance-free items. Whether you're buying makeup or laundry detergent, it's important to read the labels on these items. You may be able to figure out whether or not they contain phthalates. Also, look for wording like synthetic fragrance, as these are sure to contain phthalates.